absolutely. Um, of course, oh, I do have everyone. A... Go ahead. Oh. On a general, on a general sim, is there sex club supposed to be there? Generally, on, no. On mainland. On on a general sim, generally no. I'm not. Uh, All right. uh, I'm going to type your name. I'm, pretty and sure on that. I'm going to give you a name, and one of you can go check it out. It's on <laughs> next to mine, okay? Yeah. I recommend dropping that into an abuse report if you can. So yeah, can please. Take a look. Yeah, they're better equipped to uh, review issues like that. Yeah. I get tired of hearing them having sex all the time, and you know, it. Yeah, on the general region, yeah, I definitely just drop that into report. Um, if you have any names, you can put the name. If not, you can use Governor Linden. If you don't have any names to include, and to just report what you're seeing on the uh, on the general. Well, they're region. up in the sky, so you won't see them on the ground. Yeah. Yeah, they're still in the region, and if, as long as they're under the uh, the general maturity rating, I would uh, put that in report. So I did want to, uh, I hope that everyone had a chance to attend uh, SL19B, uh, which ended at the beginning of this month. Um, we're very happy on our end with how the event went. Um, we had uh, 400 stores in the Shop and Hop, which had uh, 20 regions overall. We had uh, 225 community-focused displays. We had three days of performances in our SL19B Music Fest. Um, it was hands down our biggest birthday event ever, uh, until next year's, of course, which will be our 20th, uh, which we're already really excited about. Um, we also did, of course, uh, as was already mentioned, uh, we had a couple of big, uh, announcements at, uh, SL19B. I'd like to pass it over to Vix to discuss the first of them. I'm putting you on the spot. <laughs> I'm putting you on the spot. <laughs> well, I'm talking about Premium Plus then, right? But of course, Premium Plus. <laughs> uh, as anyone ever knows, uh, Premium Plus has been around for, I would say, about a month now. It has been officially a month. Uh, it includes several enhancements, including our new stipend and sign-up bonus, a 2048 land allotment, uh, the ability to join 140 groups, as we uh, just talked about here, an offline cap message of 160, um, which is a nice bump, I think. Uh, you now are able to pick up a second land experience for anyone who are enjoying uh, the experiences. Name changes for Premium Plus, we dropped the price down to $15. And for those who are uh, pursuing or have pursued name changes, I will include that for now, uh, until we make the relevant uh, updates, um, if you are Premium Plus and you want to go after a name change, submit a support ticket and just specify the name that you'd like to go with. Because the site right now, as far as I'm aware, is still asking for the standard premium name change fee of $39. Um, go ahead and submit this port ticket. We'll take care of you there for 15. Uh, land group, uh, excuse me, group creations is only 10 lindens. And, oh, excuse me, no fees for texture, animation, or sound uploads. And there is even the ability to choose a specific linden home for those of you who have uh, explored that opportunity. I think it is amazing. Um, that is also handled through a support ticket, but this gives you the opportunity to not only decide on what kind of linden home, you can stand next to the linden home that you want. You can say, I want this. And then you can go ahead and create a support ticket, drop the slur for that home is, and our mainland team will, uh, one, make sure it is eligible to be uh, assigned, and two, make sure no one is already living there. Because even though it might be empty, um, it might be assigned to someone else. So they just had to do a, a few quick check downs, make sure that it is uh, available and there you go, Premium Plus. You can stand next to your linen home, choose it, and it's yours. Uh, I think that certainly beats the, uh, the selection page um, that we were all accustomed to going and kind of rolling the dice and seeing if we get into the community we want. Um, this has been something that we've talked about here before, saying wouldn't it be nice if you could go and roll and choose your home? So it is now reality so i hope uh, all of you enjoy that those who have uh, upgraded the premium plus because it's certainly a perk 
definitely keep in mind that we can't guarantee uh, the placement because somebody could go ahead and get it by random chance in between when you request it and when we get to your ticket, but we will do our best. Welcome, Izzy. Thank you, thank you. My uh, class for teaching New Lindens went a little long. Got no New Lindens now, Izzy. Don't do that to me. <laughs> no, 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 no. Had to keep them after class, did you? Yeah, you know, they always got to give them homework. To answer that question, we are we are in fact hiring. There are some positions that are available. Um, a lot of them are on the technical end of things, but um, at least at the moment. But let's see. But that's where we actually put all of the um, positions that are open at any given time. Um, give them a shot. You know, that's how some of us got there. So. Especially if any of you are tech writers. I know we, they definitely want that. They're desperate for those right now. Hey, Sen, since this is the first I've heard, what is the Metaverse Standards Forum? That sounds interesting. I know, I know. Um, well, I asked I Sen. It was like an attempt by people to take things over. Uh, not please quite. feel free. Remember, um, it's actually set up by NVIDIA and Kronos, which Kronos are the guys that made the OpenGL standard and Vulkan. And uh, also Epic Games is a participant, and uh, Amazon, Microsoft, um, Sony, uh, a, a number of other companies have all joined together. They're essentially establishing a standards organization for coming up with how metaverses should all basically interop or interoperate and work together. And so like one of the big projects they're going to do is uh, 3D commerce. Like for example, they already got CG Trader, Amazon, and a number of other companies that deal with 3D art to work together to create a standard for uh, selling, distributing, and viewing and editing art that will allow them to all share artwork together in 3D. 3D and textures and things like that and display them in the metaverse and also be able to trade them. So that's just one aspect of the, uh, the standards organization. There's like a lot of different standards. They have another standard they're working on for payment systems. They, uh, they have other standards for, uh, you know, uh, AR. Um, they have standards for VR. Uh, it, it's crazy. It's, uh, it's a huge, um, effort by a lot of companies. There's there's like 720 companies now that have joined. Uh, it's, so it's pretty big. Oh, that sounds amazing. I hope something uh, viable and um, long-lasting can come from that. Well, yeah, I know that that was discussed, and I'm not sure where our status is on it. That's not something that that we've heard ourselves about it, but I know that um, that is being right. discussed above our heads. We have missed three meetings already. It's not good because like they're already like establishing standards and they're asking for the public to provide them with, you know, their opinions. So you guys are missing out. Understood. That. Understood. So like, for example, you guys could recommend uh, Tilia as a payment processing system because you already have a background in that. And things like that, you know. Yeah, I agree. And um, eh, I'll toss it up and see what see what status is on, see what's going on on our end. I really, honestly, do not know okay. where we are on it. Yeah. Also, it'd be kind of cool to be able to get like uh, you know all the different three D uh, commerce sites to be able to bring products in here and stuff like that too, using their trading standard. Anyways, I just wanted to ask about that, see what the update was. I think yeah, I much you. appreciated. Um, we probably wouldn't have news about that here. Um, maybe it'll be in our web form if anything um, they have 
you know, coming down the pipe that they can share. It would probably be with the server group, if anything. Go ahead and put a bow tie on the premium plus announcement and go ahead and share a link where everyone can view the information here. And we're also happy to note that our friends over at Firestorm released an update on Monday that more readily shows that a person is premium plus as there were some issues with people seeing the cost of uploads as well as the correct number of group slots for premium members. I have a question. Sure. It's loaded. Whispering Angel Island. Is there a way you guys can put down another sim and mirror my my stuff, put my stuff on a newer sim without destroy me picking up stuff? The problem we're going on. Uh, let me see how old I am. Okay. Going on almost 15 years, I still have the same problem. It's and I've been possible, but we might move everything I, and have the same problem. I've been bugging Izzy Linden for 15 years with the same problem. Darn you, Izzy. And, I don't know anything because I'm not in concierge anymore. Oh, uh, well, you're lucky now, Izzy. But when, Wendy has taken over everything that I used to do, so feel free to ping Wendy anytime you need to. Man, All right, this is the, that, okay. Izzy heard, heard what we were talking about him before he got here. This <laughs> way. I mean, anything. I still cannot sit down on my sim on one side of the sim on the back corner. I have a question. Are you trying to sit on an object or, let's say, just literally... It uh, doesn't, it doesn't matter... It doesn't okay. I can do control alt sit and sit on the ground, but when I sit on objects or anything on this one particular corner, you can't do it. And you, but you can when you pick up your sim surround, right? Oh, it was, this was going on way before a sim surround, okay? You have and a, I was uh, told. Like a ticket in place? Uh, oh, I got, I got many tickets still. These have been open for so long, they're not closed. I was told years ago by Ethan Linden, TJ Linden, mm -hmm. Izzy Linden, uh, can we continue on? Fernando Linden, they all said because my sim is not sitting straight on the grid, that's why I got that problem. Really? Now, the only way I was told to alleviate the problem was take everything up, okay? And we'll put down a brand new sim, okay? Here's the problem, and, and I try to express it to the Lindens. I don't know who is the tip top, who is the top dog of the Linden pole. It's going to have to go to him because I have stuff, unfortunately, through the years or 15 years due to COVID. I've had friends die that gave me stuff, and it's in their name and not my name. I'll never get it back. Once we do, once we return stuff and pick it up, that is easy to do. But the stuff that I can't just pick up and say, "Okay, go for it, guys." Uh, stuff that I will, will return, I'll never get, ever get back because uh, they passed away. That's what I'm up against. That's why I have not agreed to uh, basically say and blow it up. Oh, I'm sorry you've been dealing with this issue for, for this long. Um, we'd definitely like to take a look and um I even had Dot I even had I even had Dottie over there, even without a sim a sim surround. I've had Dottie over there. Now I've been putting up with the problem on that one corner. I don't put nothing really out there anymore because the fact is you can't sit on an object. So I haven't put nothing on that corner, but it would be and I was told because my sim is not sitting on the grid correctly. Hmm. Dottie Linden looked into it, and Dottie says the last request is to blow it up. No, take it up, take everything up. But unfortunately, I refuse to take stuff up, return stuff that doesn't belong to me in somebody else's name. They've died. I'm never going to get it back. And those were my dear friends, and I don't want to send it back. 
I refuse to send it back. So I'm living with a problem, but it's a way that you guys can help me um, in this dilemma that um, it's been a long time. And I am Premium you know Plus now, too. Yeah. I'll, well, go ahead and talk, say, I'll uh, talk with Dottie about this myself and, yeah. and see what we yeah. can find for you. If we have a recent ticket also, Chipmunk, if you yeah. can um, just uh, send that to Wendy or I. So you want me to be... So I should reopen that tick, these tickets that open uh, way back when? No, no if you don't have a recent place. one, just create a yeah. new one and then send us the new number. We'll come out, take a look. Um, I mean, it's sounding kind of like a bounding issue, maybe a script permissions issue. Uh, we have a few ways to test it out and, and take a look. And if needed, if we can reproduce it, uh, we can definitely send it up to the devs for review. But I mean, I don't like mind. Your, you know, I don't mind picking. I, right. I understand where the lineage mm -hmm. come from. I don't mind picking stuff up and replacing the sim. But it's the stuff that I have that the people are no longer living. That's my problem. They meant, I mean, we've hung around for 15 years or whatever, how many years. I just don't want to lose all that stuff now. Yeah, part of the troubleshooting is we would have to strip away the possibilities of what it could be. Um, that way we can kind of narrow scope and also eliminate what it, it's not. So, and one of them would be, especially if you're having a problem sitting that could be something related to an object. Um, oh, it's just that what? It's the one corner. Right. I mean, if there's, uh, I haven't seen the region, but if there's objects that you don't own that are in this corner, that well, could be the reason why. My issue. I was just curious to know if anybody had any ideas how to best set up. I can barely hear you back there. Sorry, yeah, I didn't catch all of that. You want to go and repeat it? It's on a convex hull. I don't know what a hull is, so... Convex hull is actually one of the things set up on the prem, which do not allow people to walk through or actually bypass. And it's when you actually build or create something. Uh, we've done that. To... Yeah, right. It could be a lot. We don't. We just. It's been going on for so long. We just. We just go live up in the sky, and we get. We can sit up in the sky, and we're happy campers. But oh, we sure. don't use I that. Recommend, because it's been going on so long. I really would say put in a new ticket. Let's start fresh on this, and let's find it so we can get that solved for you. Well, yeah. Convex holes. What I've learned myself is when you create a perimeter or something like this, there's something you can't walk through. Or make it impossible like doorways or things like that. Hmm. Okay, I'll, I'll read it, but I, I do remember Ethan, TJ, and, and Izzy when they were over to the sim years and years and years ago. You know, this is, you're talking about back, way back in 2007, 2006, 2007, and they did discover that the sim was a it was not centered right. They did discover that. So that's my, you know. Well, then we definitely want to take a look at that in 2022 and find out what's going on. Okay. So please send us a new ticket. I sure will. We'll Thanks, appreciate it. Thank you. I'm sorry you've been dealing with this for so long. Definitely, yeah, get that ticket in, let Wendy or I know, and um, we'll take it from there. And um, if needed, uh, we'll stop by with you and see how things look and tell you what well, we I can like, do and well, I can't what will be done. Uh, Never I can't done. buzz your senior mole anymore, Izzy Linden. I mean, I can't bug him no more. Oh, no. I, you know, something like this would come through support, so uh, you'd want to reach us first. Plus, you can always bug me, Chipmunk. I just might have to redirect it depending on what it is. <laughs> Prakothi, I'm basically on the land operations team. I've been on uh, that team for a couple of years now. Uh, so working with the moles on all the things that they're doing and working uh, on all the product side of things rather than the uh, more on the support and concierge side. Okay. Well, now I, I own about uh, 41 square, 41,000 square meters on mainland now. And, you know, <laughs> I've, been, I've been staying over there because <laughs> I don't have the problem. I have been living on my own sim because it's a problem.
All right. Well, if we have no more questions uh, regarding that, we'd like to uh, go ahead and move on to the next topic so we can share with you guys. Oh, sure, Prof. Go ahead. I see your question also, Wolfire. Give me a second to read through it. Question, Wolfire. Um, I'm thinking of a way to terraform. Um, since it is a, uh, it's a private region, you have the utmost ability to basically hand draw the region as you see fit. Um, if you want half the region to be kind of like a beach, mountain terrain, the other half city landscape, um, you can check the market. If you don't want to go through the, um, the, the manual process of uh, adjusting the terraform yourself, you can see if there is an existing uh, raw file in the marketplace where someone may have already designed something similar. Um, because that could I, be a, a common uh, kind of look where you have one half. Uh, I did find like, some stuff. By the yeah. way, they are okay. that for prefab clip arts. They have a full region set up with everything, but I'm not looking for full region. I was also able to find a half a city sim, but the other half I can't find something that would do that. I mean, I could do it; it's not a problem. It's just that right. the typing at work and everything else, my arthritis gets to me. So my thing is, I could probably what I'm looking to do if there's an easier way to do it is to terraform, or if there's any landscapers that are that anybody knows of would be helpful as well. Oh, that I'm sure there are. There's plenty. Yeah, in fact, yeah. we have an employee. Well, I've looked, uh, and I have looked, by the way, mm -hmm. and most sure. are never online, or when they're online, I'm not. And I have sent messages to several of them, but never responded to any of them, by the way. Have you looked more recently at our solution provider directory? I have no idea where to even find that app, by the way. You guys, I if you link it. Thank you. I just yeah. saw that. Yeah, that um, I, I, actually okay, yeah. is something that we are keeping every three to six months. We are talking to everybody that's on that list, and if they don't respond to us, that actually gets uh, removed. They get removed from the list. So all of those people should be people that will respond to you. Okay, no, that's fine. I'll I'll definitely take a look at that one again. I'll have to copy and paste that really quickly before it disappears. But no, because see, like I found a half a city sim through BBX box designs, or the called. But the other half is the part that I'm uh, struggling with because I don't want to do the full mountain sim. And even if I did that, I was hoping that I could at least cut that in half where I can do that. That's my biggest hurdle right now. So, um, But I'll go look at the lands if there's any landscapers up there, by the way. And any other questions before we move on? Going once, going twice. I think another had a question for you. Um, real quickly, that does not have landscapers listed on there. Your um, that provider list doesn't have landscapers. Try in this, uh, the specialist section. Uh, pro, pro, pro copy. And anything that says build, uh, uh, region builds uh, um, and stuff like that, those people are usually the best ones. Profoki wrote, typed in a question for you guys about landmarks. If you didn't see it. I just responded to it. Our pleasure. But we wanted to also announce uh, event regions. We've 
recently also diversified our event region offering both a pro and an elite form. Uh, both feature the 175 person avatar limit, a boost in script performance, the ability to extend chat range with pro regions also having several add-on services such as rollbacks, instancing, and an increase to 30,000 prims uh, for each for an additional fee. The pro version will offer those features at no additional fee. You can read more about the differences between them at your leisure here. And while we're on the subject of event regions and their benefits, we also wanted to touch on the rollback feature, which a lot of you have noticed has uh, been given an update as well. Uh, rollbacks were not previously an official service that we provided. Uh, rather, they were a courtesy provided for emergency services only or, or emergency cases. Uh, now that they are an official service we provide, uh, this allows us to loosen some of the courtesy only restrictions, such as being reserved for emergencies, uh, granted, or being limited to a one time courtesy situation if we deem the uh, situation called for it. Uh, additionally, rollbacks are not a service that is critical or specifically necessary uh, to receive an order to own a region, so we encourage you to be careful if it's not a service you'd prefer to pay for because it does have a, uh, uh, a pay fee now attached. It's not that so, you have to have an event reason to go ahead and get the service. It's just that basically there are certain levels of service that are getting it without the charge and certain levels of service that are getting a charge for rollbacks that we previously might not have approved um, uh, to go ahead and uh, assist. But obviously, if there is a significant issue uh, within Second Life or whatever that caused it, then that might be an exception basis. Right. So, yeah. And one more thing. Um, rollbacks are usually not uh, given for the fault limit. If it's a server side issue, something that we recognize was on our end, as, as you mentioned, those would continue not to have a cause. Any questions on those? The one question there about the avatar basis, uh, rollbacks is specifically a region thing. If you're having trouble with something about right. an avatar, that would be a support kind of issue dealing with the avatar and the inventory or whatnot. Uh, for rollbacks, that's specifically talking about putting a region back to a previous save of that region. I don't know why. I, I think we, we have, uh, not to go into specifics, but we do have a few precautions in place. Uh, should anything arise in that nature? Sorry, <laughs> I'm interrupt uh, real quickly. So I just visited that region that has a landscaping that you guys have up there, and it was Fossil Beach, and I just fell. Like, I, I that's I don't know if you guys are going to be able to update or figure out how to work with when they have certain landmarks or teleport locations. When you go to places, they're just not there. Like, they know they exist, but then when you show up, they're just, you fall, or you just do whatever. Like, the landscaping one you guys have as a reference point, it's it's just constant falling. No. No, uh, when I teleport over to the region, it just didn't exist. Can you put in the location that you were teleporting to? Yeah, yeah, I can do that. Let me, it's Fossil Beach is what it's called. Uh, Fossil Beach Bay, I, let's see if I can actually tell, let's see if I can show this, copy, Yosara Land, okay, there we go. There we go. <clears throat> so change the 1673 uh, and just put it as zero or leave it off there so that way you're not way up in the air. Well, when I, well, the teleport just drops you all the way there when you first go there. I don't do anything. I just put teleport and go to the region, and that's how it happens. Right, but that link on to region Coniston is putting you at an elevation of 1673. Yeah, well, I know that's what I'm saying, that I, I didn't do anything. All I did was take that teleport from when I, I went on Second Life Marketplace and it said visit in-world store. I clicked visit location, and then that's what happened. 
and it may be that the owner of that store hasn't updated it. Yeah, not okay. So she's putting that there. Maybe now it's going to change. Let me see. Let me click that link she just put up there. How do I do that? How do I click this? Adam, yeah, I'm just you trying should... uh, trying uh, around there. It looks like it's just it's not updated from being in the air. And Adam, you know, as far this... as uh, abuse report, I would just say use whatever's the closest that you can. This gives me a silly idea. 50 abuse report categories and people still chose just from the fir first uh, three or so. So that's why they uh, trimmed it down. So that way people would actually go through the uh, list. So it had to be a lot shorter. Sometimes there isn't a situation that purposely or that uh, perfectly um, connects up with what it is your issue is. So just choose the closest and then describe the situation in the description. Also, if none of those, just to piggyback off that, if none of those seem to fit whatsoever for whatever reason, uh, use the fraud category um, because that will that is essentially the the base category. Sounds good. So I do want to uh, touch on. Uh, at least one recent fix that we've had. Um, there was an issue uh, towards the end of June into the beginning of July with uh, server crashes. We saw an increase in the number of them, a uh, fairly unusual high increase of them. Uh, we did talk a little bit about it in our blog um, at this address. Uh, to break it down just in short terms, um, we discovered that it's really kind of an odd one. When profile images were being uploaded, uh, to mysecondlife.com after we updated that, uh, the profile images weren't coming up in the correct format. And so when the profile images were being viewed in world in a region, uh, they wouldn't show up and the server was trying to assist in getting those to show. Uh, and when we try to assist to get those profile images to show, the server would end up crashing. Um, so to fix that, of course, we've not only gone ahead and uh, changed the code on the website, we rolled that back. Um, we also um, did a script to convert all of the new images that were uploaded as profiles images uh, into the correct format. And then we've also put new code on the servers uh, since then to mitigate that issue. So that should be a thing of the past, at least with those particular type of crashes. Um, and then um, another thing, there's another bug we've actually been tracking recently that, um, and that I think everyone here has probably seen, I know we saw it, um, which is uh, group chats failing where you try to speak in a group um, and it just, it would not go there. It wouldn't come up. You couldn't text anything in there, so forth. And yeah, what Vic said there. Um, we did, uh, in the last couple of days, uh, we did some additional updates to the groups um, to try to mitigate that issue and try to get those working. We haven't seen um, that issue since then, but of course, if you do see, do you see that issue recur, um, let us know because we want to know if we fixed it. We want to know if it's not fixed so that we can get that going. I'm glad to hear that, Sid. Any other questions on those or other issues you've been seeing? Prokofi, I'm definitely working with our engineers on search and the different options and my opinion of the uh, results that come up. So that's definitely something that I have uh, in my bag of tricks to keep hammering on. Yeah, same. Well, I think Izzy's a little bit closer to that fire right now. I get burned by it every week. 
I would say so, Profki. Although there's still some room to grow. Um, I do like the changes that they've been coming out, and there's been some earnest changes. Um, I think we've rang the bell enough times that you know, uh, all of us recognize the need to improve it. So um, it's gone through a few iterations, and I would expect a few more. But I liked the whole Earth catalog. Sen, that's where I would go ahead and say to clear history in the viewer and then uh, start over, because that definitely sounds like uh, the, the browser, Emerald browser was having issues. That looks like Firestorm search, Sen. That's, I don't know much about the Firestorm search on that. I do see a MIME error, so you might want to actually reach out to their support team on it um, and see what uh, what they have to say. Yeah, sometimes Firestorm has a bunch of other options that we don't have in our viewer, and so they may not interact well together. Any other uh, questions, comments, concerns? I had a sort of world idea that might help with um, sort of landmarks and... Uh, well, everyone knew that landmarks would go stale, and regions go up and they go down and communities move around. I mean, would it not be possible to have something that's like a landmark? But you would have a defined landing zone in a group. And rather than giving out a landmark, you give out this object that would point to that landing zone in the group. Yeah, like a dynamic landmark. So the idea being is that if that community has to move somewhere, they can up sticks, drop their, you know, deed their new parcel to that group and then say our landing zone is here and all the landmarks update. Because that's a long-term problem why like everybody has stale landmarks and they're all infuriating. That is an excellent suggestion, and um, we, it prompts me to bring up what we usually bring up when we also get excellent suggestions, as we have a uh, system to send that up. Let me guess future requests on Jira. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, we, we do have a system in place just for that. Um, we do have also a team that reviews uh, suggestions, ideas, improvement ideas, um, and uh, you know, we definitely take it seriously. Um, we can't guarantee any implementation uh, but there's definitely a process in place um, where you now we can hear back from residents. Uh, we can send it through. Sometimes you'll actually get a reply, um, you know, from a dev. Uh, it does happen. We've seen it. <laughs> uh, but we definitely do have a process, so we can um, we can gather those, we can escalate those, and they get reviewed. So I would log into Jira if you haven't before. Um, the first topic you'll see is feature suggestion. Um, go ahead and explain what you have, what you think um, can use improvement, and uh, you know the more information you provide, the clearer the idea and um, any possible ways of of putting that into action uh, it becomes. Also, keep right up as a Jira, it's going to need everybody here to vote it. <laughs> so sorry about that, toothless. No worries. 
But what I was saying is um, also keep in mind that the old event option is still available going on to an event host uh, for like a one or two day uh, kind of event where you need just a little bit of uh, extra oomph. Uh, that's also still an option, at least currently. Ilaria, do you mean the old way? We don't actually charge for that, but it's a limited availability. We have a certain number of event hosts uh, that if you request it like two weeks in advance, uh, we can go ahead and schedule for you so long as there is the availability. My pleasure. Unfortunately, we, all of us, just to, to kind of quasi-answer that, um, we are all uh, working remotely. Uh, we have been since 2020. Some of us have worked remotely for much longer than that. Um, so we're not actually all in an office somewhere right now where we can walk down to, to Phil's office or something like that. Um, Phil's also uh, primarily a consultant to us, so he also is not in any sort of office environment with us. So the ability for me to tell him about an event, to tell him about SIGGRAPH, um, you could also tell him about that and probably get to him even quicker than I could. So I just wanted to point that out, that there's not, I can't go knock on his door. Yeah, you go ahead and do that, Adam. I even dare you to. Ah, oh, no fun. He primarily advises with uh, the higher-ups, not necessarily with us in support. Um, things trickle down to us, but... We should put lowly support minions. We've got about 10 minutes left today, if there's any more um, comments or questions, suggestions, so forth. Are you suggesting a coup? And Prokofi, I'm hurt. You said that you would support Wendy over me? Jeesh. It's until the check clears. <laughs> Are y'all suggesting a coup out there? Is that what I'm seeing on the typing? <laughs> uh -huh. We're taking over the shindig. Oh, no. Y'all don't do that. Come on. <laughs>
Ilary, that's been brought up several times. Uh, they haven't actually, um, obviously implemented it. That's not, I'm not telling you anything new there, but it is something that gets brought up every time we're talking about new uh, products and such. It just, it just hasn't been something that's been put in place yet. Darksider, I'm not the lead mole. Um, the Lindens that uh, are on my team are classified as senior moles. We help the moles do what it is that they do. Leary, I'm actually curious about a medium-sized region. How would that differ from a homestead? She wants 10,000 prints instead of the 7,500. Because I think 15,000. Um, oh, okay. I was way low. <laughs> Never mind. Yeah, Larry, the whole purpose for uh, homesteads initially was more of a decoration thing for people that actually wanted uh, more space, but not the prims for it. Um, but a 10,000 prim um, instead of a quarter region kind of thing is definitely a novel idea that we've brought up several times. We just haven't actually done it. The open spaces are more for uh, just park or open water kind of thing. They're not even really meant for decoration. Right. They make very excellent water sims. Teresa, um, we are definitely looking at uh, that as definitely an option because it obviously is something that takes a decent amount of manual work uh, to do. And as you've seen, there are um, there is a lag time between when the request is made uh, and when it actually gets implemented. And there are problems, obviously, if somebody else grabs it in the meantime. Uh, so automation is definitely something that uh, is being looked into as far as far as the 2048 uh, um, premium plus parcels is something that we've said would be a great idea, but I don't know of any work that's been done to actually implement it. It's just kind of on the chalkboard as a possibility. Prokofi, open space regions can still be ordered, but they have to be done via support ticket. How many alts five are, minutes? Oh, go ahead. I was how many, a five minute warning. How many alts are we allowed to have in SL? Zero. Each one is its own individual entity and should be treated as such. Just kidding. I'm being serious. I got forty two. I mean Technically the answer is five. R really? He just burst my bubble, Izzy. Wendy burst it first. She scroll up in text. Yep, it's true. And actually, uh, Prokofi's correct on that. Uh, it is. It is five officially. Um, sometimes you'll see more. Yeah, the way I always answer that question is. People that don't cause problems might not get noticed, but if you cause problems and we see that you're technically breaking rules, you're just giving ammunition to be dealt with. Oh, okay. That's a good way to put it. I was just trying to figure out the difference between a scripted agent and a regular avatar. That's scripted all. agent uh, is technically one of those alts, uh, but where you're self-identifying it as a scripted agent, quote unquote, bot kind of a deal. So that way we know that we can um, modify some of our criteria for uh, statistics and stuff like that to include or exclude, depending upon what the query that we're doing is. Oh, OK. Um, uh, but since you've gone ahead and mentioned how many alts you have, Chipmunk, the next time you IM me and are all mad at me, I'll remind you about that. I'm just teasing. Now, wait a minute now. 
I just said, what if I have 42? I didn't say I have. I'm assuming that you would never do anything wrong and only have five. I have actually two. Chippy and Marla. Yeah, I actually recommend that people have two accounts, especially if they have any groups, because I always recommend that if you make a group, that you should at least have an uh, your avatar and an alt in there, so that way it never closes on you. Well, sometimes, because you, if you've got a, uh, like a what, modeling agency and you don't want nobody bugging you when you're off work, you got to have another alt just so you can go do what you want to do without people bugging you. Agreed. Send, that's also something that has been talked about coming back, but I haven't heard any um, updates on it. Well, I'm glad that the linens have blue because there have been linens running and around as alpha the green. Say again, Chipmunk. There have been some fake Lindens running around in SL, and their tag is green. I don't know if you guys know about that. Well, you know, the blue thing isn't on our viewer. That's just on Firestorm's viewer. Oh. Then why would they be green on the Firestorm viewer? Because they're not actually Lindens. Okay. Thank you. I, I just wanted... If you do see someone who's claiming to be one, well, you know where to go with that. Right to an abuse report. In stereo, we're available. Yes. We'll be happy to show well, them. We're we are, so. but uh, our governance team will be happy to show them the air of their ways. Oh, I wanted to drop something because Sen asked a good question. Thank you uh, for the answer, Izzy. Um, while it doesn't uh, answer all of those questions, uh, Sen, we do have a page on uh, setclamp.com that gives a uh, recap on how the market is doing. Uh, you can view what the current rates are, um, minimum, maximum uh, quantity. Um, it gives you a couple charts to refer to as well. So um, I do refer sometimes to the exchange market data. Um, you know, some most times if, if we're seeing an issue, um, it's something that is resident facing. Um, but that can give you a snippet of how things look. Do you guys still have the cornfield? Yes, we do. Okay. Do you send a feature request for that would be great. <laughs> what was that? Would you, would you still use it? Yes. Yeah. Oh, good. Okay. Oh, yeah. I've locked many a resident there. No, no. I don't. <laughs> Does still, it still live on purple? Yeah. It doesn't work the same way as it used to work in, in the old days. But, yes, it is still there. And, you know, uh, to, to hey, answer your no. question, Teresa... Uh, the cornfield um, back in the early days of Second Life uh, was sort of a subgrid that if someone had done bad things but not bad enough to really get banned or suspended, uh, we could send them to the cornfield based on the old Twilight Zone episode, which was this one region that's just rows and rows of corn. Um, there's a very, very slow tractor that you can ride. There's a television that's showing a uh, old video on recidivism um, called uh, Boy in Court. Um, and you could be stuck there for a while and not be able to IM with anyone or teleport anywhere. You'd just be stuck in that region until we decide to let you out. I um, think we need I to think modify they need... the environmental settings for it to make it really dark so some of our yeah. moles can run around and startle people from behind. <laughs> I think, I think It's meant to be a think zone for them to think about what they've done. Exactly. And I it think is still you there. You can still find it on the grid. Um, it's closed to regular access. Um, maybe one of these days we'll do a field trip there or something. I think you guys should institute that again and send half of these jerks back there <laughs> so they can think what they've done. Well, the problem we had with it is that a lot of people started to, um, how can I put it, they deliberately tried to be bad, just exactly. bad enough to be sent there. And so, uh, you know, that becomes another problem. Um, you know, so... 
We also had some other issues with it, not releasing people and then being stuck there, but we don't need to speak about that. <laughs> well, I, I want my neighbor back on purple so I can throw snowballs at him when he comes out his front door. I don't think purple exists anymore, but you know. So the region is still there. I need to run away to my next thing, but uh, it was great talking with everybody and have a wonderful day. He's running away, guys. Let's follow Philip. Yeah, it is our <laughs> time. Uh, thank you, everyone, for attending, and we will see you next month. In case you didn't see it in local chat, I did follow Jira. Thanks, everyone. Oh, thank you. Let me you. see. Um, I don't see it. Oh, there it is. Well, you're the Thank only you, one left. You're the only one left, Vix. <laughs> yeah, I gotta get out too. Have a good day, everyone.